guys, it's Garvey and today I just came back from my first day of my last year of high school. So today I'm going to show you guys how to wave your hair, how to get wavy hair without using any heated tools. So that's good for your hair. So I just came out of the shower because I had to cleanse my soul after that horrible experience at school. <laughs> and um, my hair is still damp and I'm gonna use um, L'Oreal's Evercurl Hydrocharged Leave-In Cream, this, to, um, get the best waves I can, because this is an anti-frizz cream. So one to two pumps should be enough for all of your hair. Just run your fingers through your hair to get all of the product on it. And another pump for the other side. <laughs> the other side. The dark side. I kind of like to talk because I feel like I don't talk enough. And if I don't, I'm going to lose my voice. I'm not even kidding. I can't even sing anymore. My singing voice used to be so cool. No, no it never was. I'm just kidding. Oh, look, I can whistle a little. use an extra pump because oh my god I'm losing so much hair and I um, this is a disaster I comb my hair before showering so I lose less hair but that seems to not work that seems to not work it doesn't seem to work that's what I was trying to say See, I can't even talk properly, what the hell? Okay, so now for the actual wavy part. So what you're going to do is separate your hair into two sections and you're going to fishtail your hair in those two sections. Okay, hold on, there's a hell of a lot of hair on my hands. Ugh. Okay, so you're gonna fish out your hair. And if you don't know what that is, then it's pretty simple. You separate your hair again into two sections, take out one piece from one section and cross it over to send it to the other section. And then you do the same with the other side. Take it and you put it over so it joins the first side and then you do the same thing again and that's kind of the whole process so if you want um, bigger waves you use bigger piece and if you want smaller waves and uh, a more curly texture you use a smaller piece bigger pieces bigger waves smaller pieces smaller waves yeah Oh my god, I'm running out of hair, you guys. Shouldn't happen, but anyways. And then you tie it up with an elastic. Or a chicken wing if you want to. I don't know how that's gonna work out for you, though. Oh god, no. No! Bad elastic! Okay. So now I'm gonna start my other part of my hair okay so I'm almost done and there we go tie it up you have your two braids done all you want to do is let it dry completely before you untie both of your braids to reveal beautiful bomb ass waves they're gonna make everyone say my god how'd you get those waves and yeah so <laughs> they're gonna look really good I swear you guys so tomorrow I'll um, record date I'll, rec I'll record me untying 
my braids and you guys will see the result. Until then, bye guys. I woke up like this. Hey guys, it's Garvey and today I'm going to reveal the waves that I did yesterday. Are you ready? Ta-da! Aren't these wonderful? I mean... Whoa! Just um, run your fingers through your hair a tiny bit. Don't brush it out. I wouldn't recommend that because that would just mm, ruin them. And so you can do whatever you want with them, I guess. Um, you can put it back, you can do some cool ass braids on the sides and things like that. So yeah, that's it. Hope you guys liked it. Bye.